Hello guys, so I'm here again. So, ngayon, uh, nakita ko lang naman sa iba't ibang uh, Facebook group about stock market na malimit ano, uh, i-discuss or i-post yung WPI or Waterfront Philippines Incorporated at maraming uh, nagtatanong kung ano, buy or sell ba yung uh, WPI na to. So, yun. Kaya, dahil meron naman akong konting time, so, tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging uh, verdict ko sa WPI. So, una sa lahat, uh, tingnan muna natin kung ano ba talaga itong si WPI. So, Waterfront Philippines Incorporated. Yeah, so, basically, uh, alam ko itong um, company na to kasi dati nagtrabaho ako sa Cebu at uh, <clears throat> malimit kong madaanan itong waterfront so si WPI ay naregistered sa SEC last September 23, 1994 as an investment holding company for hotel, leisure, tourism, business and it is uh, owned 46% by Wellex Group Incorporated So, WPI consists of uh, Waterfront Cebu. Yeah, ito yung sinasabi ko. Yeah, may casino hotel. At uh, mayroon din yan hot, yeah, hotel. Tapos mga reception, uh, res uh, wedding receptions. Kasi nakapag-attend ako ng wedding doon dati. Uh, mayroon din sa Mactan Cebu. At mayroon din sa Dabao. Itong ano nila, Insular Hotel Company. So basically, it's all about services and subsector is hotel and leisure. So okay, so ano naman? Tignan natin ang yung stock data niya. At kung makikita mo ninyo, market cap is uh, 2.6 billion. So malaki-laki din yung market cap. So basically guys, uh, kung tatanong kayo kung ano yung market cap, This is basically uh, computed or calculated by means of uh, total number of outstanding shares Ito. at yung uh, current market price ng company na yan. At uh, nakaka-generate tayo ng value which is called market cap. So practically, ginagamit ito to size a company. So para ma-measure natin Uh, kung gaano kalaki yung yung company na yan in, ster, in terms of equity in terms of stock kasi pwede naman natin ma-measure yung company in terms of its assets di ba? but ito this is uh, in contrast or another way to measure a company so this is true market cap so kung malaki yung market cap niya then maganda I mean uh, malaki nga yung company na yan at uh, kung mapapansin nyo rin sa PSEI sa index ng Philippine Stock Exchange na kung yung isang company especially blue chip has a high market cap so it consists or it has a bigger weight on the totality or, or, or it has a bigger weight Uh, in the PSEI so kagaya na lang ng uh, SM so di ba isa ito sa pinakamalaking part ng PSEI so kung ano man yung mangyari sa kung ano niyayari kay SM at the moment halos kaparehas din kaparehas din ang nangyayari sa index na PSEI so ganun yun guys So, yun na uh, bibili mo si WPI by means of 1,000. Uh, so, yung board lot is 1,000 shares. So, hindi ka makabili dito ng 900 kung nasa normal normal uh, board lot ka. Makabili ka ng 900 if nasa ad lot. So, by 1,000 shares yung pagbili natin kay WPI. And so, okay, so itong 
problema dito kay edgepse.com.ph kasi hindi niya pinapakita itong PE ratio book value which are really very important parameters. So, in that case, punta tayo kay investing.com. So, tingnan natin yung mga parameters na yun sa financial ratios. PE ratio. Napakaganda. So, kung maalala nyo yung isa kong video na pinaliwanag ko kung ano yung PE ratio, this is the amount that you invest in order for you to earn 1 peso. That's PE ratio. So, pag mas mababa yung PE ratio, mas maganda, mas cheaper nga yung company. At, uh, okay. Revenue per share. Okay, ito. Book value per share. 2.08. So, mas mataas na book value, mas maganda. So, cash flow per share, return on equity, 6.16, medyo may, may pagiging mababa itong ano, ROI niya. At yung 5 years average is 1.75%. So, in terms of returns on equity, so hindi masyadong wow effect. Kasi pag compare mo ito kay Ayala or SM, uh, that's 10 or 11% yung ROI even the 5 years average so pero itong 1.75% medyo mababa yan EPS earning per share tingnan nyo uh, versus quarter 1 1 year ago negative so negative earnings kaya negative EPS so hindi rin maganda to pati yung 5 year EPS growth walang growth so yeah in this case this is not a good sign. Okay, debt to equity ratio. So, ano yung ratio, I mean, uh, ano yung ratio between utang and the equity. So, equity guys, basically, is if you minus asset and its liability, you get the equity. So, if and then, you uh, divide uh, the utang divided by that equity you get the percent of that utang so of course mas mababang debt to equity mas maganda yung company alright so yun yun uh, at uh, yun naman uh, tingnan natin yung chart which is uh, mas interesting for those who are traders or swing or investors or uh, midterm investors also so ano ba yung uh, kikita natin dito kay WPI in terms of its chart so as you can see uh, uptrending dito but dito consolidation so I convert that into one hour that's downtrend what about one week chart uptrend but here in this part starting to retrace okay so but that retrace has a, a little uh, a low volume so okay tingnan natin yung one day chart at uh, ngayon unang-unang ginagawa ko is really to identify the areas of value so meaning lagyan ko ng support and resistance so yun horizontal array so yan that's uh, resistance ito rin it's another resistance this one is a support so I just colorize it with blue so as you can see support here has been broken by uh, above average volume so that is a justifiable uh, breakout breakdown I mean then sinundan pa ng mas mababang candlestick however with this candlestick there is 
buying pressure indicated by this uh, relatively long week so yeah in that case now again natin now resistance dito na naging support here so yan buyers are coming in at this point also this is a resistance previously yan so yan pumapasok yung buyers at uh, you cannot underestimate the buyers here kasi a little bit above average as well so parang inequalized na yung sell then buyers came in with almost the same uh, net volume with the sellers so ano naman labas natin yung exponential moving average 50 para ma-justify natin kung ano aha okay so in this case this is downtrend, starting to downtrend. As you can see, the cross from uh, the cross sa so EMA 50. So we are now anticipating a downtrend move. But uh, saan naman yung mga possible bouncing area? So here, this area of the support can be a possible bouncing area or here if it will if this uh, price or support will be broken then this is the next possible bouncing area so basically if we pull out the uh, retracement Fibonacci retracement and measure here to here then ito yung 61.8% Fibonacci at uh, at this level dapat nagbounce na kung uh, nagbe-behave nga according to Fibonacci yung uh, yung uh, chart na to but uh, as you can see nag-breakdown na so now we are expecting that uh, Okay, so maybe here, or if not, then here. So these are just the possibilities. So, hmm, so in that case, uh, if I am if I am not yet here in this uh, stock WPI, then I wouldn't buy WPI. I will still uh, observe what will happen to the price on the next uh, in the coming days or weeks so firstly ito yung magandang buying area so kung uh, ito, ito kasi yung uh, support so that's a good buying area so I can draw a buying area and then if uh, the trend goes against me then I will cut my loss somewhere a little bit below than the length of this or the, the bottom of the end the tip of this week so a little bit below lagyan lang natin ng konting buffer okay so but now if this will be broken yung bawa hindi ka naka bili dito then the next uh, next buying zone will be here uh -huh. and then my cut loss will be just a little bit below than my buying zone So, ganon yung ano ko sa WPI. But if you are already a, uh, if you are already in WPI, then 
at this level it's good to sell very good to exit so let's check for example uh, with Emma 9 see dito pa lang sa long candle na yan dapat nag exit na tayo or dito pa lang dito sa may 1.12 So, yan ang mga exit points natin. So, yun lang yung masasabi ko about WPI. I hope uh, this will help you in your future trades. And, uh, kung uh, sino man sa inyo yung interesado na magpa na mag-participate sa aking stock mentoring online, then um, just drop me a message. At, uh, mag-agari tayo about the, the schedule. Usually, I'm doing it during the weekends. From 2pm to 3.30pm during weekends. And uh, 8 to 9.30pm. So, yun ang, yun ang time frame na madalas ako mag-mentoring mag via online. At uh, kung ayaw mo namang mag-aral ng analysis or analysis pero interesado ka namang mag-invest sa stock market without hustling yourself about learning and then the fluctuating market then then uh, you may subscribe to my weekly stock updates nare-release ko every Tuesday actually tomorrow I need to I mean yeah so every Tuesday nagre-release ako ng ng uh, ng uh, stock update so my stock updates uh, is composed of uh, usually blue chips companies that are good for mid to long term investing but sometimes uh, nagdadagdag na rin ako ng pang, ano, ng pang position or swing trading pero makapakunti konti lang so nire-release ko ito sa aking closed uh, FB group na one subscriber ka then i-add lang kita sa aking FB group then yun, every post na mababasa mo palagi. Every post ko, makikita mo sa aking FB ko. So, yun lang guys. Good luck sa inyo, sa inyong trading tomorrow and the next days. God bless.